One of the most powerful yet overlooked aspects of Bitcoin Cash is the governance model that has emerged, partially through forethought and partially through natural cultural evolution. Governance is a word heard often in Bitcoin. It's a notable term because it can only refer to the governance of the humans of Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto explicitly states this is the case in the closing sentence of the white paper when he says, Any needed rules and incentives can be enforced with this consensus mechanism. The behavior of the machines on a Bitcoin network is governed by Nakamoto consensus and the various non-consensus rules written into the software. But Bitcoin is not primarily a software project. Bitcoin solves a human problem, a problem with trust. Satoshi tells us that in order to solve this very human problem, what is needed is an electronic payment system based on cryptographic proof instead of trust, allowing any two willing parties to transact directly with each other without the need for a trusted third party. Those parties are humans. Bitcoin is a miraculous tool that is changing the nature of human relationships, but humans are still required to build and maintain that tool, and humans have divergent preferences. In the beginning of Bitcoin, serious attention was not paid to the governance of the humans responsible for the direction of the software upon which the network relied. Centralized, immovable power was the norm in projects such as BTC and Ethereum, the single point of failure that is Bitcoin Core was captured by Blockstream with relative ease. Ethereum has been blessed with a thoughtful and communicative leader in Vitalik Buterin, but there is no doubt that the Ethereum Foundation will remain in control of that project's direction for as long as it exists. New experiments in democracy have been tried on chains such as Dash and Decred. However, votes, especially on Dash, only end up affecting ancillary and arbitrary marketing projects. The Dash Core Group, which actually controls the direction of the software, wields power in an unchallengeable manner. Predictably, the whims and pet projects of those individual devs have become features of the network, making Dash the bureaucratic Rube Goldberg machine that it is today. The governance structure of Bitcoin Cash is unique among all cryptocurrencies. Donald Fuqual has called the model multiple implementations with a lead implementation. In essence, there are several teams, including Bitcoin ABC, Bitcoin Unlimited, BCHD, Flowey, and Bitcoin Verde, whose software could technically run the network. The individual implementations each have their own advantages. Some are preferable for mining, others are preferable for the needs of businesses. Each has chosen its own internal governance model. Mediating this legitimate diversity of implementations, unique in the cryptocurrency space, is the tradition of the biannual upgrade, a network-wide hard fork that occurs each May and November. These events require that all node operators, miners, businesses, and end users upgrade their node software implementation or else they're no longer able to communicate with the rest of the nodes on the network. While this practice was initially implemented to enable upgrades to the software, it turns out this is a powerful governance mechanism. Twice a year, every node operator is faced with a need to re-examine their infrastructure. It presents an opportunity to switch the implementation that operator is using. If there's a contention in the community, it offers the opportunity to actually split the chain. We saw this in the hash war that split BSV from BCH. After that split, BSV adopted a centralized and immovable dictatorship that is significantly more ossified than even Bitcoin Core. BCH continued on the same path of multiple implementations and biannual upgrades. At the moment, Bitcoin ABC is the lead implementation. Every six months, ABC subjects itself to a network-wide referendum. The leadership of the various implementations don't have to make changes to their software, such that their users will follow the ABC chain. If the lead implementation becomes corrupt, this is a safety valve, a means for the network to choose new leadership. This choice falls almost exclusively to miners and exchanges at the moment, but as the dynamic of the players in the network changes, it is predictable that the power dynamic in that regard will shift as well. The unique emergent governance model of Bitcoin Cash is an innovation. 
It is a model that has never been seen before. It is the means for reaching voluntary community consensus on the nature of an economy while retaining the freedom for minority groups to exit and go their own way. For those, like me, who came into this space because Bitcoin represented a tool for reducing violence and increasing personal sovereignty in the world, the BCH governance model further reaffirms that our time has been well spent and the project of peer-to-peer cash for the world is carrying on apace. Bitcoin is a human endeavor. In any human endeavor, there are leaders. We can, however, work to find ways to increase the sovereignty of every individual. Part of that effort is recognizing innovations in how we govern ourselves and strengthening the traditions that will sustain a peaceful and prosperous community.